Now let's get up to speed with Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds! Cal and Kessler? You were once our friend! Once your friend, yes. But now... Your enemy! I could have given you everything! But you were too scared! You knew the only way the satellite could be ours was if we eliminated every threat! Earthbound immortal Coca Bagaboo! Pound this pathetic cider into the darkness! What was it that tournament MC started calling you? Satellite shooting star? More like satellite's falling star! See you around, you say. Riger, I give you new life as a dark signer! Let's do it! Now come forth, Earthbound Immortal! Chaku Chalua! Here goes everything! Go, Perfect Storm! Riker, it's us! Please help! The people trapped inside this Earthbound Immortal are my brother and sister. That means the Crimson Dragon isn't to blame for this. It was the Dark Signers who took everything away from me. By releasing my level 8 Silver Wind, I can destroy your Earthbound Immortal, Chaku Chalua! Alan next, you say? Yes, we have some unfinished business to attend to. Get ready, Callan, cause here I come! You say sure got his work cut out for him. I hope he brought his A-game. You guys think that you say scared? You say's not scared of nothing. He's the best there is! Good to see you, old friend. My pleasure. I see that you got your duel runner up and running again. I was afraid that you weren't gonna give me the opportunity to settle the score after you sold me out. You got it all wrong. Do I? <laughs> <laughs> now listen up. This is the moment we've been waiting for. After this duel, satellite will be all ours! You hear that, Sector Security? The Enforcers are gonna run you out of here! You can try, but you will fail! You say, Callan! <laughs> Callan! <laughs> you say! <laughs> huh? Good job. <laughs> <laughs> You snitch! How could you sell out your best friend like this? You're wrong, Callan. I... <laughs> Mark my words, you'll pay, traitor! I'm no traitor. <laughs> well, you certainly had me fooled. 
Now let's settle this once and for all! Hey guys, look there! It's Yusei and Talon! Hmm? Follow me! Um, anyone bring binoculars? Now let's get things started! Duel's about to start. <sighs> Looks like you say found Cal. It's time, old friend. Time for what? <laughs> time for me to send you straight to the Netherworld! I can't believe the same person who once risked everything to protect me is now the same person doing everything to try and hurt me. Ah! Callan! Listen, that rail won't hold us! Just let go, you have to- No way! You say we're bros! If you fall, then I'm falling with you! Now quit! Hang it around and climb! I know the person that wouldn't let me fall still exists. Now it's time I get him back! I know Callan was once our friend, but don't let that get in the way of winning this duel. Allow me to start things off. Duel mode engaged. Let's duel! What do you say we mix things up? First one to the first corner gets to go first. Fine. Looks like someone gave their runner a little tune-up. Time to see how it handles. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like I go first, you say? And with my first move, I'm summoning Infernity Necromancer in defense mode! That can only mean one thing. He's gonna try and play that handless combo he used in our last duel. I think I'll end my turn with a face down. It's time to make your move, you say? But rest assured, there's nothing you can play that will save you from my wrath! We'll see about that! Callan, I remember when things started to change like it was yesterday. You, me, Crow, and Jack. We all had each other's backs, and that's why we were able to make satellites safer one district at a time. We stuck by each other through thick and thin, and eventually we accomplished what we set out to do. But you wanted more. Our home was a better place because of us, but you weren't satisfied, Callan. You craved the competition, you needed it, and that's when things got out of control. Now listen up, Enforcers. The satellite is finally a safe place, but we can't let up now. We cannot let the gangs regroup. So we have a new mission, and that's to go out and destroy every dual disc we can find. <sighs> Here we go. I don't like this. Get back here! Huh? I'm trapped! You got that right! That disc of yours is about to become history! Time to check on Crow. Have a nice trip? Huh? You're just a kid! Please, let me go! Get out of here! Huh? You heard me, now get going! Thanks! Mommy! Why'd you let him go? <laughs> you alright? No! This isn't what I signed up for, you say? Huh? You can run, but you can't hide! <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Maybe next time you'll think twice about running from the Enforcers. <laughs> what are you doing, Callan? <laughs> now get out of here! You're gonna regret you ever did that, Crow! <laughs> get going, kid. Crow, Callan, stop it! You! <laughs> Get your hands off me right now! You got that, you say? <sighs> Don't you guys see that we've become the thugs we worked so hard to get rid of around here? If this is what the Enforcers are all about, then I want out. What are you saying? I'm saying I'm through being your puppet. Crow, hold up. You can't just turn your back on your buddies. Come on, Crow. The Enforcers are all you've got left. <sighs> Where are you going? Jack? Crow? Stop fooling around! Uh, you say you're not gonna leave me too, are you? I mean, we're friends, right? When Crow and Jack left Callan, I knew they were doing the right thing. But I didn't have it in me to abandon him. I knew what it was like to be alone. And no one ever deserves that pain. Hurry up and make your move, traitor! I'm summoning Max Warrior! And with the power of my warrior, your beast's a gunner! I know you think I'm a traitor, Kallen, but I'm gonna risk everything to prove you wrong. I know deep down, the only way to get through to Kallen is to come at him with everything I've got. Max Warrior, attack! Are you sure you want to do that? Your warrior's not strong enough to overpower the defense of my Infernity Necromancer! But it will be once I activate its special ability. Huh? You see, when this guy attacks, it gains 400 attack points. Go, Swift Rush! <laughs> And now, until my next turn, my warrior loses half of its original attack and defense points, as well as half its level. You might think that's a lot to sacrifice, Kellen, but that's nothing compared to what I risked when I stayed by your side after Jack and Crow left. Hey, Kellen, check it out. Is that a dual runner? Sure is. Sector security thinks they're unstoppable because of it. All right, men. It's time we show these dual gangs what these runners can do. Now let's roll out and deal some justice. Yes, sir. <laughs> There's no point in running. You cannot escape the power and speed of this new runner. Fine, then. I was getting tired anyway. I summon Skull Knight number two! You'll regret that. I summon Assault Dog in attack mode! Ah, ah, I surrender! You win! Are you saying you want to take on Sector Security? That's right. The Enforcers first came together to rid the satellite of dual gangs. And what would be more fitting than for the Enforcers' last duel to be against the ultimate dual gang, Sector Security? By defeating them, our home would truly be ours again. Now go round up Jack and Crow. It's time for the Enforcers to reunite. Are you listening to yourself? We'll all end up in the facility. Well, living like this is already a prison sentence. Uh, Callan. I'm sorry, but I can't be a part of this plan. You're not thinking clearly anymore. If you're going to do this, you'll have to do it on your own. Wait, you say! I thought I was doing the right thing, Callan, I swear it. I thought if I left, you would never go after Sector Security on your own. But I should have known better. I should have known that once you made up your mind, there was no changing it. It was you against Sector Security, and the war wouldn't end until one of you was forced to surrender. Once I learned that confiscated dual disks planted with electronic pulse charges were responsible for wiping out Sector Security's mainframe, I realized the first move had been made. And that's when I knew that I should have stayed and tried to reason with you. Information is power! <laughs> and without it, you're nothing! <laughs> Catch 
me if you can, copper. Time to see what you're made of. I summon this fella. Hey, Crow! Huh? You say sent me to get you. It seems Callan attacked Sector Security's headquarters. He did what? We got trouble. You say, Callan! We've got you surrounded, satellite. Now come out with your hands up. Ready? Looks like our friend inside has some company. I hope they're ready for a fight, because I sure am. I just knew you wouldn't miss this. The Enforcers are back and better than ever. Listen, Callan, we're not here to fight. We're here to try and end this. You've gone too far this time. <laughs> I haven't gone far enough. Now listen up. This is the moment we've been waiting for. After this duel, Satellite will be ours. You hear that, Sector Security? The Enforcers are going to run you out of here. I can end this. And I really thought I could. I was naive and worried about you. I let you down. But I've learned my lesson, and I won't let that happen again. If I could go back and do it all over, I would. Just like you risked everything for me that day. You say we're bros! I'm now here to risk everything for you. He's got the upper hand. But for how long? I place three cards face down and end my turn. Then it's my move! First, I'll lay down a face down. And then I'll trigger the trap Limit Impulse! Now, by sending two cards in my hand to the graveyard, I can summon two soul tokens! And then by releasing these two tokens, I can advance summon Dark Tuner Nightmare Hand! When Dark Tuner Nightmare Hand is successfully summoned, you can summon one level two monster from your hand. Kalin must be going for his handless combo. And with one card left, he's almost got it. Sorry, old friend, but by activating my Dark Tuner's special ability, there is no more almost. I summon Infernity Dwarf in attack mode! Oh no, his hand's empty! Now it's time for my handless combo to take effect! I tune my level 10 Dark Tuner Nightmare Hand with my level 2 Infernity Dwarf in order to Dark Synchro Summon 100 Eyed Dragon! When the shadows are devoured by even darker shadows, the curtain pulls back and reveals a world without light! Not that! Aren't you glad to see him again? I know I am, especially since your Max Warrior's so weak! It looks like I'm going to get my revenge sooner than I anticipated! Go, Infernity Sightstream! That attack just put Kallen back in the driver's seat. You say better get a plan and fast. You can do it! Trust me when I say the worst is yet to come. Well, then I better act fast. I play the Trap Revival Ticket. Now for every monster destroyed in battle, if I destroy one card on my field, I can power up my life points. 
And then I can bring back all my monsters that were destroyed in battle. So say hello again to Max Warrior! You can't! But I can, Callan. And because I destroyed my trap card, Limiter Breaker, earlier, I'm now gonna use its effect to summon Speed Warrior to my field. You say the best! I hate to admit it, Leo, but you might be right. You always were the clever one, weren't you? But how do you plan on overpowering my 100-eyed dragon? Just watch. Callan's right about my two warriors not being strong enough to stand up against his 100-eyed dragon. But whoever said they would have to? Not me. I play the trap card of sacrifice! Now when the total attack points of the monsters on my field are less than your monster's attack points, I get to draw two cards. Thing is, I can't summon or change the battle mode of any of my monsters then. <laughs> You say you've left yourself wide open! Revenge is mine! Don't be so sure, Callan. Remember, due to the trap I activated, I now get to draw two new cards from my deck, since my warriors aren't as strong as your dragon. It's my move then! And I think I'll play a face down! Next, I'll activate 100 Eye Dragon's special ability, which enables it to absorb the powers of a dark attribute monster in my graveyard. And the monster I'm choosing is Infernity Necromancer! Now that I have no more cards in my hand, I can summon out Infernity Archmaid! That's exactly the move I was hoping you would make. Since you summoned a monster, the effect of Slip Summon activates, and that means I can summon one level four or below monster from my hand in defense mode. So I'm calling on Ghost Gardener! <laughs> It makes no difference who you call on because there's nothing you can do to escape the power of my 100 eyed dragon! Now, say goodbye to your Speed Warrior! My warrior's not going anywhere! See, by activating Gardener's special ability, I can make it the target of your attack! Quite the nifty maneuver, but let's see how it matches up against this one! I activate 100 Eye Dragon Special Ability, which enables me to channel my Infernity Dwarf Special Ability! And since I have no cards in my hand, when my monster attacks a monster in defense mode, your life points take a direct hit! Ah! <laughs> you say it looks like your game is spinning out of control! <laughs> But now that you're back on track, I think it's time for me to get serious and settle this once and for all!